Greetings and welcome to this Trapcode Tao session. Today we're gonna try to recreate uh, this kind of setup together. Uh, the cool trick we're gonna learn in uh, this session is uh, how to um, have on the same path kind of uh, different geometry settings and different colors and uh, different uh, textures and or different ways to uh, have them uh, uh, reflect uh, lights and uh, the environment and still follow the same path so we can have them as an object uh, and uh, then we can repeat it and twist it around and do all those fun things so uh, let's uh, get in After Effects and uh, I'm gonna create a composition uh, I'm gonna call it Tau Pencils and uh, I like to uh, create abstract stuff in uh, Traco Tau it's a plugin that's very powerful to create stuff that is uh, abstract but one thing that is pretty cool I find also is to create uh, real objects but then uh, set them up to be like uh, in a way that is kind of abstract to make kind of sculptures and uh, fun things and uh, yeah also what we're gonna look at in this tutorial is uh, some ways to repeat colors on repeated objects and uh, how we can achieve some, uh, some, some uh, kind of a result like uh, like this. So, uh, all right, let's create a new solid, and this time I'm gonna work in a square composition because uh, what we're creating, what we're creating is uh, is kind of uh, in this ratio. So, let's apply tau to our solid, and. Uh, Let's create a light. Let's call it Tau All Caps, and we're gonna make it the spotlight. And let's create a null, and let's make it 3D. Let's grab the position from here and copy that there, so it's at the center. And uh, we're not gonna use the path generator. That is automatically generating the circle here. We're gonna use our light. And we're gonna use few of them, but let's first create our kind of a basic. Uh, so this I will call Tao Move because we're gonna move this one, and let's create another one, and this one we're gonna call Tao Main, and this is the one we're gonna use to move uh, our whole thing around in the end. So this is the one we're going to use to generate keyframes uh, for our path, and this is uh, the one that's actually that's the light that's going to actually generate our geometry. So let's color code that orange, and um, on our lights we're going to be able to uh, apply different colors. So let's connect our tau light to this null, and let's connect that that. And uh, let's see what our first steps are going to be. So um, first, let's make the general shape of our pencil from up and down. So let's make it 90 frames. Let's create another keyframe. And let's say uh, this one is going to, let's put the same amount. So it's, uh, let's put minus 400 here and I'm gonna hit uh, control alt front slash to refresh and right here we can see that uh, the geometry is a little bit funky on the top here so let's go in transform right click on the light transform auto orient and uh, let's uh, set that to off and that doesn't change anything because yeah we have to uh, rotate our light maybe so let's have it right one so let's try this no nope. oh yeah the problem is that what we're doing is right except that we need to tell uh, Tao to uh, since we didn't create any keyframes on our actual light object it will use uh, 10 seconds as a value uh, as a default value to uh, generate the geometry so we want to specify that uh, since we're using 90 frames it's uh, three seconds so let's do that and that will fix our issue here 
So um, a pen is going to have kind of a hexagonal shape. I don't know. I haven't looked at a pen recently <laughs> since uh, I don't uh, write with a pen that, that pretty often. Um, perhaps we want to leave a little bit chamfer here, but we want to make it uh, thinner. So that's going to be our basic uh, pen shape. <coughs> And uh, let's make it the color of a pen. Something around that. And uh, let's sharpen it. So if we want to sharpen it, first we have to make sure that uh, we activate this property here, which is going to pick up the size from the radius of our light object here. So let's create a keyframe on the first and let's uh, get a little bit further. And since we're using 90 frames, so think about like uh, this is going to be the tip at zero, it's going to be the tip of our pencil and uh, at 90 is going to be the, the top. So I think uh, around 14 frames, we can create another keyframe here and then set this one here at zero. So that makes our uh, sharpening here, but uh, still it's not like a, we want to have this thing, uh, I don't know exactly how it's called in English, but uh, <laughs> this thing at the, the end, which is actually used to uh, write on the paper. So we can color that, we can add some keyframes here and uh, use uh, this to, uh, texturize so let's make it close to black but we don't want like a gradient like that we want for like let's say three frames it's gonna stay all black so let's activate toggle hold keyframe and I'm gonna refresh and uh, let's uh, bring this one closer here hit refresh and uh, re we really don't want that much of a gradient here so let's do that and uh, oh wait it's not the exact same color so yeah this is the color that I want so I will copy the keyframe here and I will paste it here and uh, that's kind of about what I want but still there's a gradient here um, so we might want to work with more keyframes so if we need more, then we can try to double that. So let's make it six. And then we're, we're going to want to have this uh, quantity frames. And uh, that means that we're going to have to also double this. So 28. And that means that we now have a little bit more room to make it uh, as we want here. So for this while, let's stay dark. And still we have this kind of a, a gradient here. So let's bring this here. And uh, if we, we can always go uh, smaller than a frame if we hold alt and if we do that it will make it like really 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 tiny and then we can bring back those keyframes over here and that's that means that we still we still have some what of a gradient but then we have this part here with where it it's a little brighter so let's do that and Let's make sure that we keep the color, the darker color here. And uh, right about where it gets uh, we're going to maybe hit Shift F9 to uh, enable this. And then we can do like that or maybe. want 
to have uh, more of this uh, brighter color here. So I'm going to hit refresh, and that's right about how I would want that. And maybe a little bit less of that. And uh, we're getting close. We're getting close. So that's uh, let's not spend uh, that much time on that little detail. <coughs> so uh, next, let's create this little part on the top. But let's not duplicate our null. We're gonna duplicate our light here. So now we have another uh, example of our light here. And first thing we're going to do is this. We're gonna. Uh, remove all our keyframes here for the and make sure that we re we uh, keep the radius at 100 here so now we have uh, on top of what we already had we have this and let's uh, put some color for uh, the top part the metal part that's on the top and let's make it kind of some kind of gray to make it silver and now we just want this to be around here so what we're going to do is uh, the following let's get our colors here so we have it until uh, 180 frames so right at 150 let's try that we're gonna shut off this one so do that we're going to create, create a keyframe on the radius and then we're going to go to the next frame and set this to zero and uh, let's make this one hold so it uh, has no in between values and uh, at the same time we're doing that we're going to enable this light so this is going to be set at zero and here I'm going to put it at 100 and make it also a held keyframe and let's hit refresh so we have a little gap here so that means it needs to be offset it one keyframe to the left so right at the exact same point that this one is getting at 100 this one is getting at zero so we have a continuous path that uh, that will be uh, on this one we'll be able to apply different settings and uh, it's still going to be following the same path so if we apply distortion to this it's going to follow so that's kind of a cool trick so first this one uh, we want it more than six sides we want it to be more of a cylinder so let's add uh, the amount of sides and how we do that since well now we have only one place to control the size and it's here and if we make it 12 uh, this is going to be applied on all that and it looks like a cigarette now and uh, and, and cigarette from fifth element you remember when uh, in fifth element he, he has this cigarette with this much of a filter and this is the part that he smokes Corbin Dallas so uh, yeah uh, so we want to have uh, six sides on this and we want to have this with more sides so tau allows us to write sid 022 that means uh, this light has 22 sides so what we have here now is on the same path we have uh, the tip that is uh, a little bit more uh, less low poly and it's the same path and that's the same technique we're going to use to make the eraser at the end so let's duplicate this one and uh, it's gonna add increment this number so make sure uh, if you want to keep the same make sure you correct that immediately and here let's uh, put some kind of an eraser color something like that and the uh, same as we did let's uh, look at our keyframes here and uh, this one we're gonna enable it 
at frame just right before the end so maybe at the 175 here I'm sure we're gonna have to move this a little bit so let's put it here and let's see how we had it now so this one shuts off so right here on this keyframe let's uh, copy this and paste it here and then right click and time over stem and can also make sure that this one is a held keyframe so oh. why is it uh, <laughs> doing that that I need to look at my oh right it's uh, it's right there and it's a little thin I think we're uh, a little bit too close to the end so let's see and uh, and now we have this gap now we need uh, more side no more segments let's try that so yeah let's make sure that we have enough segments uh, so Tao can f actually have enough geometry to fill our gaps here all right <laughs> was it was getting kind of worried here but uh, often there is something wrong but always there is something that you must do to fix it and then it's not wrong so let's make it a little bit curvy on the end since uh, these tend to get a little bit used uh, so not the color or yeah maybe the color also changes the color but the radius uh, let's make it 80 let's refresh and uh, like that all right so now we have our pen and if we move that one step to the right it will uh, like those keyframes if we move them together it it changes the ratio of uh, the, the eraser metal part ratio so we don't want it like that So that's kind of we got our pen coming along here, and the last thing let's uh, have uh, some the middle part silver middle part has some uh, ridges here some kind of uh, extrusions so let's try to recreate that and uh, let's create a keyframe on the radius hit page down to go to the next one and let's make it one hundred and five go to the next and let's uh, not zero but 100 and let's go right about here and make the same so that's some kind of little ridges that we have here and uh, let's make it a little bit more extruded let's see about that so that's our little ridges here and uh, you might you might think they're a little bit smaller than that but here let's copy that let's do that kind of like that and then we're gonna hold alt and make them 
smaller than they're supposed to be able to be and let's do that and there we have like the uh, approximate shape that we want and now now the problem is I don't re recommend do that like if you can avoid it because uh, there are there will be some frames that we cannot get to so we want to make sure that these are 110 only the middle one 110 110 Let's refresh that. So we kind of have our our pen here, and uh, one more thing that we can do is uh, add some reflection to that. And uh, let's create a camera, and I'm gonna make it 35 millimeter. And uh, let's make it a little dolly here. So now we can rotate around and look at our nice nice pencil that we've created so um, let's get in the material and lighting and uh, in the image based lighting and let's choose a built-in environment I'm gonna choose a graffiti ruin and that's gonna make it all reflective <laughs> so that's uh, not exactly what we want we want this part to be reflective the metal part but the eraser we don't want to we w don't want some reflection in there and we don't want that much reflection in the pen uh, in the wood part actually i would like to be able to set this part and this part to just a minor amount of reflection but it's not possible yet but uh, what we can do here is this slide we don't want reflection on it so let's uh, type down ref zero and let's refresh so we have lost our reflection here and we still have it here on the top part so we want to do the same on the, the, the eraser here so let's do that and but now everything is darkened so that's uh, one thing since uh, it's now using the diffusion strength to uh, illuminate that and we don't have any uh, we don't have any light objects around so uh, for the moment is just using global illumination from the this uh, built-in so now only this part reflects so that's cool and uh, now perhaps is the time to uh, save and to create some basic lighting so I'm gonna create an ambient light let's call it amb and, and I'm gonna make it uh, a little bit of a blue shade and automatically that bright brightens everything up and uh, let's make another light and this one we're gonna make a point light and uh, let's hit okay so perhaps now the ambient is a little strong so we can reduce it here so that's more like it and the the the, 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 the few strand we can turn that down we can decrease the freno and that will mainly affect the reflective part but uh, the diffusion is still going on on, on our only the reflection is not uh, being calculated <coughs> so now I, i'm not sure it's going to be the right example for that but one thing that uh, I always forget is that you can call uh, your light Tau Lumi and that will kind of, let me hit refresh there, and that will kind of change the way uh, lights are uh, used and I'm not sure if I need here to uh, check this include Tau Lumi lights. So this is better quality light lighting, it, it gives better shades, it's perhaps not going to be uh, that obvious let's take a picture and uh, let's turn this off and uh, let's call that 
right, so it's I, I need to refresh and I'm gonna lose my picture, so I'm not gonna be able to make the comparison. But uh, <coughs> sometimes I have a, a light setup and then I call them all towels with me and it automatically makes it looks better. So let's activate that and let's keep it a Tau Lumi. I'm not sure exactly what is the difference, but uh, the maximum Tau Lumi, Lumi lights that you can have, I think, is eight. So let's uh, distort this pen. Let's uh, let's have some distortion going on here. So that's uh, our main and now we did move around with our camera so I'm going to delete all that to make sure that uh, we're right back at the default view so um, <coughs> let's add a wiggle to no let not let's if we want to la like have it uh, distorted uh, in a circle circular manner because Using wiggle is cool to distort things, but sometimes it has uh, like uh, too much difference between uh, parts where there is lots of geometry and some other parts that uh, are stretched out. And uh, uh, if we want something more s linear but still distorted, let's take our Tau move and let's move it all the way to the right like 170 pixels and make sure we have both selected as we do that so it will pick it up uh, it will not make our pen diagonal um, and then on our tau main we can add some rotation on the z and i'm not sure it's going to be on the z since we rotate rotated everything around so let's refresh and yeah so we can rotate our pen around and it kind of gets distorted and keeps on to the same path. So that's cool. And uh, what if we want like uh, the rotation not happen? Like we want some rotation, but not uh, in the middle of the of the pencil. So let's move that to. So then we'll gradually apply our <laughs> our rotation to this so that's some cool result that you can obtain doing those kind of things and then perhaps easing them is also I have to remember not to hit F9 because it stops my recording and w when I uh, ease keyframes sometimes I lose a whole lot of what I recorded just because of that because it turns the recording off. So let's uh, hit, let's do that, and let's refresh. So whoa, what the hell is going on now? Oh, we have, yeah. So now that we've done that, it's going all crazy. Because right here, it's uh, it's uh, oh no, I can't do that. Yeah, let's keep it linear on here. And uh, oh, that's that's kind of interesting. Here it's at zero. Oh yeah, because it's not the same. So yeah, that's not exactly what we want to do here. We want to this one to be at zero, and then yeah, this one to be at one point and this to be at, at 129.2 alright so this one so now we're going to happened again I have to remember not to hit F9 So, um, yeah. And then I can go in there and make it more red. 
schedule. So uh, the current this is, this is kind of interesting ways to uh, have your pad rotated like this to get something interesting, and then there's nothing preventing you from adding a wiggle on this if you want to have some undulations. So let's do that. Wiggle three times one hundred, and it's gonna be a little bit crazy. So let's do point three and uh, yeah that's uh, that's kind of cool and uh, also the way we built our thing if we set it up to build up it's also going to build it step by step like uh, like that like it's it's treating it as is this one and a uh, single path but it has different colors and different uh, aspects different properties so that's pretty cool and uh, what is left to do now not not very much uh, so let's create a background and let's making let's make it some kind of a chalkboard green and let's add a ramp to that and let's make it some kind of a thing and we don't have any keyframes on this tau main here so now we can move this around and it, it moves our our pencil I think I've called it a pen many times I'm sorry so uh, let's go in the uh, repeat paths and uh, let's get in the first repeater here and uh, now we can set this to zero and let's start with two. And uh, if we increase the rotation here, uh, we can have some crazy, uh, nice, uh, crazy uh, patterns with our pens here. And uh, our Lumi light is pretty intense here. So let's move it down like that. And uh, yeah, we can make some kind of a um, nice uh, abstract shape using our nice pencil. And uh, I really wonder what would Salvador Deli would have come up with if he had uh, access to Traco Tau. But uh, that would be some uh, interesting stuff. So I like that. It's kind of cool. And um, oh, that's crazy. That's what I want to do. <coughs> and um, yeah, let's uh, now we can go in the visibility and uh, let's try to integrate it a little bit better with this. So let's pick up the color from our background and change that. So this value is like the beginning of our fog it's going to uh, to color this it's going to uh, like uh, like it as if it was engulfed by the background color in the depth so if we make uh, the rear like the, the the most uh the least close parts a little bit shaded with this color it's gonna make it look a little bit uh, nicer and more nicely composited with our background and uh, we can also make sure that we have the right settings for the ambient occlusion every time you create something with the uh, ambient occlusion it uh, it's always in relation to how big your stuff is so i don't know this is to a size that we can mm, probably keep it close to the default values here. Don't want to mess around with that pretty much because I think the default value has the least amount of artifacting. If you crank some of these too much, there will be grainy uh, shadows. But uh, <coughs> 
yeah so uh, that's uh, how I create uh, this nice uh, pencil sculpture with Trapco Tao I hope you uh, enjoyed this and uh, thank you very much for watching see you next time hey uh, greetings there I'm back uh, just forgot to tell you one thing uh, now that we've created this if uh, I create if we create a camera let's make it 35 millimeters it's gonna change a little bit the aspect of our thing but nevertheless um, let's make a dolly so we can uh, attach our camera to it and uh, the reason it changes is because we're adding uh, new uh, layers in here and it uh, it just changes the, the wiggle so uh, that's why and uh, if we want to look around uh, from the other side you might notice that our shading is not the same uh, so if you want to keep the same lighting like the same light direction simply attach the Tau uh, Lumi light to uh, the camera so now if we rotate around we'll keep the the cool uh, shading all right and uh, yeah the part two of this tutorial is coming up uh, for the next part we're gonna see uh, how to uh, use textures uh, when uh, we repeat objects to have them uh, get different colors and uh, we're gonna look at different ways to do it so uh, see you next time